Hello, today I'd like to talk to you about watercolour greys. Greys are colours you can mix in a variety of ways, often defaulting to the use of white which can reduce the possibility of more transparency when you need it. They provide a more subtle shift in tone than black. This is Davies Grey, a slate pigment developed by Windsor & Newton. We're not certain why it was named after Cotman's student Henry Davy, but it's a beautiful transparent grey with a greenish tinge. Now look what happens to the manganese blue when I add Davies Grey to it. Now look at the way it alters the carmine. This is Payne's Grey, a bluish grey named after William Payne, who was the painter and printmaker who invented it. The first recorded naming of it was in 1835. It's a dark blue-grey, less intense than black, so a really good addition to your palette in creating tones. Look what happens to the manganese blue hue when I add Payne's Grey to it. Now look at the way it alters the carmine. Neutral tint is a soft grey tone, again created in 18th century England. It also allowed artists to avoid using black, which could corrupt the purity of other colours. Lots of experiments were carried out to find different formulations. Look what happens to the manganese blue hue when I add the neutral tint to it. Once more, look at the way it alters the carmine. You can explore tone in your palette with each of these greys, all of which provide a different subtlety. I hope you enjoyed learning about greys.